Thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. Mark is with you as always with another non-biased, user-friendly review. Uh, the Traxxas E-Revo and the Traxxas One-Tenth Summit, um, they both share almost identical drive shafts. However, the stock uh, Summit drive shafts are a little bit different. Uh, the left side of the front and the right side of the rears, uh, the drive shafts are actually a little bit smaller uh, in terms of length. Now, this is because of the Traxxas Summits. Uh, locking differentials and uh, those diffs actually require a little bit more room thus making the bulkheads a little bit bigger on one side and a little bit bigger in the rear on the other side however GPM has made axles these drive shafts uh, rather uh, that will fit both the Traxxas E-Vivo and the Traxxas Summit um, now they are telescopic and they will adjust to the summit's uh, length dimensions and to the E-Revo's length dimensions. Um, it's a great thing to have telescopic uh, drive shafts, especially when your car is starting to flex. Uh, there is nice and smooth movement. So. Today's video is going to be dedicated to the center drive shaft system and to the front and rears. So the front and rear product number is ER037SF plus AR-R. Um, super weird. Uh, product number but they're all weird right uh, I'm gonna leave them in the comment box below uh, I'll leave you guys all the product numbers as well as always and this is the center drive shaft um, setup that we have product code is STR V2125A-R so they look awesome I I think they look really well but will they perform and what's inside the bag? So here we go guys. Here they are unpackaged, unraveled to the world to see. <laughs> uh, there's actually a sticker that came with them. So here we go. This is what they look like. Um, I hope you guys can see I uh, can see that coloring, uh, they look really, really nice. Uh, again, so these are steel drive shafts. Uh, this right here is the front and rear, and this guy and the short guy is the center setup. Just a little close in for you guys to see. They look very beefy, nonetheless, nonetheless, very, <laughs> very shiny, you know, as a new part should look. So to go into the technicalities of these drive shafts, if you guys notice these little uh, rubber, rubber bushings, rubber gaskets, if you will, at the end there. Now, those are designed uh, for a compression block protection, I guess you can call it that way. Uh, so what happens during operation, uh, these shafts, they are actually, uh, here, they are telescopic. You see that moving in and out? They move in and out, uh, you know, you, most of you RC guys probably know there is, uh, I'm, I'm sharing this information for those who don't know uh, how they operate. So um, these rubber seals are designed to absorb the impact uh, when the RC is fully compressed, um, just to give you a little bit of, of a smoother operation. 
uh, a very nice design. I actually I haven't seen uh, any other RC um, upgrade manufacturer make uh, a setup such as this. Uh, now GPM also provides you with some spares as well. You see these rubber uh, these rubber bushings with set screws included. Very nice. Uh, and some some awesome packaging as always and these are the center drive shaft they also have very similar properties and that is if you guys are familiar with the center drive shafts of the Evo or Traxxas uh, it's really you know, when I first got into the hobby and I opened up my summit, I was just really surprised that there is, um, you know, this small, <laughs> this small drive shaft in there. It was just a weird design to me. Uh, however, it's you know it works, and uh, it, this in particular uh, will replace your plastic setup. Now, plastic versus alloy running on 6S. Now with 4S batteries you would probably be okay for a while with your stock drive shafts uh, but people tend to like the thrill of having a 6S system with a brushless motor, uh, you know, if you if you are a, a true RC enthusiast, uh, I'm sure you like the you know the more S there is within your RC, <laughs> the better. Um, so the pros and cons over the steel versus plastics, uh, you know, the plastics are a little bit lighter, um, the steels are a little bit heavier. However, if you are running 6S, uh, you know, you have to upgrade to steel and you have to throw that plastic stuff out. And I really love how GPM marks their drive shafts with th this numbering system. It really makes it easy to identify what is what if you have a bunch of these in your toolbox and you are at a race or something like that you need to have a quick grab you can identify them very easily very very quickly as well uh, by just looking at the markings very clever as always all the accessories and everything necessary to install these comes with the packaging So, another thing that I wanted to touch up on, on these drive shafts. I also noticed that these drive shafts in particular are already lubricated on the inside. They come already nicely, you know, it's, it's, it's an oily substance, so I'm sure that it, it, this was done on purpose uh, this one is the same so very nice that GPM actually pre lubricates these for you awesome very nice the ball inserts within feel feel pretty good and you can see the inside of that actually I hope you can very nice so we have not a single pin but a dual pin system inside uh, so which gives it a much smoother operation very nice so I don't want to go into you know a lot more detail onto these you know these are drive shafts um, how complicated do they have to be well you'd be surprised uh, how much engineering and how much uh, thought really goes into creating uh, an aftermarket uh, part uh, that will uh, function and actually help the performance of your RC now if it looks good 
as well with that, then, <laughs> then it's a bonus, right, guys? Um, absolutely. I really like to, uh, you know, I, I love uh, that my parts are good looking. I mean, I love the fact that I chose that route because it's, it's just awesome. Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'm not going to drag this any any much longer, but very excited to to present this awesome upgrade. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, click the like button, dislike. Uh, please leave a comment. Uh, subscribe. Please share this video. Spread the word. And uh, let me know your thoughts. What kind of drive shafts are you running? Are you still running stock? If so, are you doing it on 6S? If you are, you got to let me know how you do that. Um, it's just a learning curve. I'm still learning as we go. So any input helps, guys. Uh, please your, please criticize um, or compliment. Um, I appreciate it all. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you guys soon. You guys take it easy. Bye-bye.